uh, <clears throat> nothing like instant coffee when you're batch exporting and batch rendering and auto rendering and all that good stuff. So today's topics are auto render, batch export, and batch render. So auto rendering, I do at the same time as I batch render. You can kind of control those two things at the same time. And batch export is done um, at the end. There's a couple different ways to do exporting. Um, I'm not gonna talk about exporting what kind of settings I do export. I'm just gonna show you how to do a batch export. So, for example, let's start. I've got two sequences right here. They just so happen to be identical, but they don't have to necessarily be the same sequence. This is Mike Garabedian of Garabedian Properties. He builds really badass homes in Texas. Look at that. Looks like a mansion. And um, so let's say I'm making a bunch of little um, movies for Garabedian, and I've got this. Uh, this red line that's kind of above every one, that means it needs to render. But I don't want to have to sit and wait for it to render. I want to be able to let it render automatically and go do something else. Sometimes I don't want the auto render to kick in. Sometimes I just want it to not always turn on and start rendering it when I'm working. So what I do for the first issue, which is the auto render, is you come up here you go into user preferences and if you come here to this little area right here you will see it says auto render see you turn that little sucker on and I have it down to one minute that means when I walk away from my computer after one minute it's gonna start rendering everything that's open in the timeline which means these two sequences right here are gonna start rendering themselves in one minute. You can have that set to 30 minutes, to one hour, you can set it to whatever you want. Um, I, in this situation, want to it to start automatically rendering everything that's open in my timeline as I walk away. So I can actually work on 10 sequences at once, get them all done, have this auto render button turned off, so that it doesn't auto render then when I'm ready when I'm done working for the day or for lunch or whatever an extended period of time I come into user preferences up here and I turn on auto render and I stick it on one minute or five minutes or whatever you wanted to and you make sure you have this set to open sequences you can have it so only your current sequence renders which means only the one that's highlighted right you can have it set to open sequences accept current wow that's kind of cool but I'm gonna have it do all open sequences in one minute okay so that's auto render that means any sequence that's open right now is going to start rendering automatically in one minute very useful very cool um, so batch render that's kind of the same, I was talking about batch render and auto render at the same time. Uh, batch render means these every sequence that's open, I could have 10, are gonna be batch rendering all at the same time. And the auto render means it's gonna automatically turn on in one minute when I walk away from my Final Cut Pro. I hope I was being clear, I was trying. <laughs>